to show you guys this stuff. It's blue green algae. It's organic spirulina. Spirulina, that's what it's called. It was like seven bucks or eight bucks on Amazon. It's blue green algae. And the reason I'm telling you guys is because this stuff is nuts. It is nuts. This is what it looks like. You just take a pill. It's blue green algae. You're probably thinking like, why would I take blue green algae? Isn't that bad for you? Well, oh, it's cold. I need a sweater. Okay, so blue green algae. It is a superfood. It's a super vitamin. I, every once in a while, I'll try like a new supplement, but I only share it if I get excited about it. And this one like, by that tree. every time I take it, I have so much energy. It's so good for like blood pressure, heart problems. You see waffles by the tree. Yeah. You can, she's by that tree. Yeah. Anyway, the stuff is amazing. Get yourself some blue algae if you have energy issues because that stuff gives you energy. It gives you energy and it gives you motivation. Ellie. <laughs> that duck just trying to bite her. Look at how cute this is. Do you guys know you're supposed to be over there, right? You're supposed to be over there. <laughs> That's your daytime home over there behind the fence. You see the other chickens over there? Yeah, that you means that, that means you're supposed to be in there with them. Ellie, leave the ducks alone. But I mean, if this is a better fit for you, by all means, just hang out there. So we had a huge rainstorm last night and now it's cold outside, I love it. Wait a minute, I thought I told you guys, this is not where you live. You live on the other side of the fence. Sophie, they're following you. Ellie, okay, back to goats, you guys. I'm so over goats. No, well, I'm stuck with them now. I swear, Ellie's just teasing that goat. Come on, you can't catch me. You better run, Ellie. And then she gets the goats to chase her and then she runs behind me. This, that's the one that wants to get you, Ellie. No, the ghost chase Ellie. Honey chases chase the goats. Yeah, it's just a big old chasing farm. <laughs> this is my Pokemon. If you throw her, she'll fall. She's your Velcro Ow. goat. She gets mad when you hold other goats. That goat is still watching for Ellie. She's like, I know you went in there, Ellie. This is a perfect day for cleaning up horse poop. No. Yeah, I think we should do that no. again. Yeah. No. Such a good idea. No. Look at Lola. Look how she's standing. And Lola's in heat. Okay. And that brings me back to the goats. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Meet Ziggy. Isn't he cute? He's our new buckling. Buckling means that he's a baby boy. A buck is a grown up boy. We bought him so that when he grows up, he will be the buck of our little herd and he will father all our future children. Isn't he gorgeous? Everything's been going fine. He has been a dream. And then yesterday, two of our girls went into heat and everything changed. This adorable little buckling that is a baby, let me remind you, Ziggy, you are a baby. You're a baby. Ziggy was so interested in the girls yesterday, he tried to get to them through the fence line and he couldn't. So you know what he did? He went and laid down and was a good boy because he's a baby and it's not time to breed the girls. So he knew that that was what we expected of him. No, that's not what he did. Ziggy went to the other fence line to our weakest link on this farm, the fence that Sam has to repair. He just needs to make one little gate. Well, Ziggy knew that that was the weakest, weakest link on this farm. And he came over here and he headbutted it and headbutted it and headbutted it until the entire gate fell off. So that's what he did. He broke down the gate, Sam's gate, dilapidated gate that he needs to fix, which I'm kind of glad because I really want Sam to fix this gate and build a new one. Unfortunately, two of our goats were in heat and he's a buck. That means that he was alone with two of our girl goats that were in heat. <laughs> For God only knows how long, I check on the goats, I check on the animals about four times a day. And between one of those times, he got free and was with the girls, and I don't know, I don't know. 
I don't know. I can keep my pigs apart when they're in heat. Hey, pigs are powerful. Ellie! Come on. Come on, run! Everybody wants to catch Ellie. He's getting his exercise for the day. Come on! <laughs> He's like, I'll get her! <laughs> yeah. She is not a pig. There will be no more mating. Get. Get. No. Holy. Yeah, come on, Ellie. <laughs> Get out of this place. Come on, let's go. Oh. Nobody should go in the buck pen. All I gotta say is that I am so over goats. I am so over goats. So one of the goats that is in heat, I want to breed this year. So if she's bred, no big deal. The other goat, what's well, gonna wait till next year? There is a good chance that there was no breeding going on because like I said, he's a buckling. He's a baby. He doesn't realize he's a baby. I'm hoping he was trying to bite off more than he could chew. And I think that that's probably the case. Nobody's in heat today though. It's raining. Nobody wants to be breeding in the rain. Oh, bad news. I crashed the camera. I was trying to do too many things at once. Dropped it. I like barely dropped it. It barely hit the ground. Barely touched the ground. I've dropped it from up here before and it's never crashed. But yeah, today I crushed it. Hey, right, come on. Stay away. So that's what happens. That's the sound you get if you come onto our property. We have guard guineas. They will let us know if anybody comes on our property that's a stranger. They don't do it for us, but they do it for strangers. Aren't they so cute though? Sophie calls those them rocks. So uh, we ordered another camera, showed Sam the, ca the, the camera and he couldn't fix it. So he ordered a new one. Uh, I don't know when he's going to burn. It's going to come in. It super sucks. Like oh. I know a lot of people actually film on their phones, but we've just never gotten in the habit of it. I feel like it's just not the same kind of quality. So I broke the camera. See, look at those little guineas don't make any sounds when people they know come walking. Don't you kick those. I thought for sure she was going to kick it. Something you guys might not know about Gabby, but when she was a little tiny girl, she hated, she hated chickens. What is your dog eating? She's eating the wall. She's eating a horse up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's from the farrier. They're all, like, look, even the puppy has it. No, even the puppy has it. So Sophie's Sophie's favorite food. What is it, Sophie? Oh my god! No. Oh snap! We have one. What kind are they? Spicy. 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 Spicy pickles. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. It's not even that spicy. Do you like them? Uh, no. Mmm, they smell really good. You, I tried to give you one before. Every time I turn around, they're literally right behind me. I was walking in the barn this morning when I had the camera, the moment that I dropped the camera. And all the big horses were in this little tiny area. Like they were all three of them in here. They're like best friends now, I swear. So I, Sophie said, who stepped in the camera? And I said, nobody stepped in the camera. I just dropped it. And she said, oh, that's lame. And I said, oh, who's lame? <laughs> because when you're a horse owner, you don't ever want to hear those words. Yeah. Good girl, Pen. Yeah, don't. Hard. Don't. We knew what she was. It's okay. Why don't you guys have fly mess on? Oh, because it rained. I swear that dad uses that as an excuse. He's like, see? He like does this with his head. Looks like this to her. And then she goes, eh. She kind of reminds me of me, actually. I've noticed lately, though, that the big horses hang out together and are way closer. And then the little horses have been hanging out together. Which makes me wonder if it would be better to have like two different fields. One with little horses. And one with big horses. Take your slobber back. Take your slobber back? She's slobbering on me. I don't like Caesar's. Can horses eat pickles? Yeah, they can eat cucumbers. Not spicy ones. They can have it. Not dill pickles? She wants at least, at least let her have a little try. Let her smell it. Like she probably wouldn't even eat it. Ellie! Kirby! <laughs> yeah. 
She's like, that's not for me. I've been trying to uh, get the field cleaned up again. And I got a couple of wheelbarrows taken out. And then I raked all this stuff up. Kirby can't get in. She doesn't realize... She doesn't get how to get into the barn. You gotta come through the door. Come this way. Oh. Well, you're staying here, Missy. You look so cute. I think it actually bothers Kirby that she can't go everywhere that Ellie can go. Ellie can literally fit under anything still, and Kirby can't. Kirby. Listen, can you guys hear her? We're over here. <laughs> you're safe, it's okay. She was just screaming. The girls have to go to the store to get, what are you going to get? We need butter. Butter. See, that's the thing. When you need stuff, you said your husband. I mean, no. You said your husband. But then, when your husband is tired of you sending them places, you send your kid. Ellie really has to fight now. I am a loving this weather, though. Like, loving it. I even don't mind being followed. I feel like I'm being followed. Do you guys feel like I'm being followed? Wow, Gabby, your car needs a wash. Don't run anybody over. Oh my gosh, this always makes me nervous. I love them being free. I love free ranging. I never thought that I would, but now that I do, this is the only time I feel nervous is when somebody's driving. Good job. So a long time ago, like when Daisy was a baby, I would post this video. I posted this video where Sophie was trying to get her off the couch and she would like push her and she was, she was like making kind of growling sounds, but it was more like moaning. She's almost going to do it. It was more like moaning. Do you guys hear it? More like moaning sounds. And people were like, she's going to be aggressive. She's going to be so aggressive, but it's not that she's aggressive. And you could tell that she wasn't aggressive. It was, it's, it's how she communicates you hear it it's, that's just how she communicates sometimes i come and i just lay on her because she's our squishiest dog she's like our most loving our most loving puppy and she moans all the time like if i lay on her she'll moan see <laughs> but she's yeah you're not being aggressive that's she's very vocal she's like deaf as a doornail but she likes to tell me. She likes to talk. Like, she likes to tell us stuff. Like, she just told Ellie, go away. Ellie is playing with the puppy. Yeah, I love you. Even though she's not my puppy, she always sits with me on the couch. She always cuddles with me. She's the sweetest puppy. And she's so photogenic. You're so cute. Say hi, Daisy. Wait, look, look at the camera. Look. No, she's like moaning. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?